I'm Justin Bettman. I'm a conceptual photographer based in Los Angeles, California. I'm really interested in conceptual photography because I find things that are slightly out of the ordinary to be really interesting and fascinating. I think there's other photographers that do a really good job of capturing doc style or things that naturally occur in the world, but I like to put a little bit of twist on the ordinary. I would describe my lighting style as very cinematic, utilizing motivated light sources so that every light that's in play has a reason to be there. I think it really comes back to the fundamentals of, of lighting a movie where it's like you want motivated light sources. If there's a light that's coming from near a lamp, you want it to be warm and soft. If you want it to be outside and look like sunlight, you want it to be hard and warm. And so using those motivated light sources to really tell a story and, and guide the viewer's eye. I really like shooting both in studio and on location. I feel like on location has a lot of production value. It just feels more authentic, but I also like shooting in studio because you have the ability to light from every angle and build sets and that sort of thing. So I really like the combination of doing both of them. I think one of my most challenging photo shoots was I was doing my personal project set in the street where I built photo sets out of furniture that people had disposed of. And uh, I decided to do one on Valentine's Day in New York City. So. It was uh, like seven degrees, but feels like negative 10, and we're fighting snow, and it was a surprise proposal for a stranger. The camera was freezing up, the computer didn't want to stay on for tethering, and uh, trying to keep it all a surprise with everyone that I had on set and not letting the future bride find out. Early on, I did a project called The Bagel Project. That was one of my most rewarding projects that I did. Um, I was in college, and I literally just went through downtown and traded a bagel for a story with, with people who were homeless or unhoused. Ended up taking portraits for them and, and sending it to them and that was just a really meaningful project. I first found out about Broncolor through some other photographers who were using them and posting about it. I think uh, Lara Jade was one of them. And I was in a Facebook group and someone posted about this Gen X program that you could apply to. I think you submitted three images and a little write-up about yourself. And I, uh, I submitted and if you won that, you got kind of a starter pack of professional lighting equipment from Broncolor. And I was just flabbergasted that out of all these entries um, that I won and was going to have the opportunity to really have professional lighting equipment, just really have the tools I needed to create what I wanted. My favorite light for Broncolor is the Cirrus L. It's a really versatile mono location head, so it's battery powered. And I think that I like to use different light shapers to motivate different types of light. So I really like using a P65 with CTO if I want it to be a fake sun. I like using uh, 150 Octabank through a silk if I want really soft light. And I think the Para 133 works really well in studio. There's a ton of lighting modifiers that I think really separates Broncolor from other competitors. I actually try to get almost everything in camera. Um, sometimes I'll end up choosing different plates if I'm shooting a really large scene where someone's facial expression was better in one shot than another. And I think that Broncolor really allows me to capture as much in camera and less in post. I find that a lot of clients will ask like, well, what filter do you have on it? And for me, it's not really a filter, it's just doing it properly in camera with lighting up front, using gels and that sort of thing. And when I've used other products, the color temperature shifts a lot. After using Broncolor for all these years, all my gear has really held up over time. One of the favorite images of mine that I've produced was a shot of a boy in a bodega talking to the bodega worker. It was a stage scene, but feels very reminiscent of like a Norman Rockwell scene. And I just really like the, the timeless factor of the photo, the lighting, and just the emotion you can feel of relating to the little boy trying to buy a candy bar. If someone's looking to get started in a photo career, I think just going out and finding your voice and shooting a lot. I think there's a million reasons to say no, but you gotta find the reason to go out and shoot every day and, and see what you love about it.